How long is this walk still? Boy, too, we almost there. All right, I've been out all day. I'm trying to go home now. <sighs> Shut up. I mean, you need the exercise anyway. Do it? Hell yeah. Dad bot having ass. Dad bot? <sighs> Glory, come on. It was just a joke. Somebody's jokeable. Maybe some more. Oh, would you do scuba? Scuba? Yeah. For sure. I want to do scuba. You do scuba? I want to jump out of the plane. Yeah, I want to do that too. All right, what about bungee jumps? Shit, that one, that one's a little bit more scary. A little scary? Because <laughs> you really just going like, wow, wow. Everybody got the what if? It's just my turn. Oh, yeah. They already <laughs> did it a thousand times. Okay. You'd be fun. Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful during the summer, too. I mean, I love coming out here. A hammock and a blunt. Perfect. Living my best life. Mm. Oh. This and a blunt? Fuck you. <laughs> hey, whatever. You know you love me. <laughs> Stella Mohammed. She had this long box braid cut when we dated. Shit was beautiful. She got these braces too for a while. They were so cute on her. She always kept her nails painted. Her favorite artists were Diana Ross, Tyler, but only Flower Boy, Gambino, and Janelle Monet. She also loved Kalia too, but hey, nobody's perfect. She always thought I thought her taste was basic, <laughs> but I loved it. She was taking a year off, but was having an existential crisis about it. Her chicken tender ranking went as followed. One, Popeyes. Two, Canes. Next, Zaspies. And four, Slims. She never ate at Chick-fil-A, you know, too homophobic. She hated when you talk through movies. She was the greatest girl I had ever met. And I was just the asshole who loved her. And her voice. Oh, she could sing. What about it? Maybe all the stars in the night are really dreams Maybe this whole world ain't exactly what it seems Maybe the stars will fall down on tomorrow But one thing is for certain, baby We're running out of time Now that's how you do it that's my superstar.
Hey, bro, watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm doing something here. Nigga, you looking real stupid right now. Okay, I don't give a fuck if I was looking idiotic. Nigga, get the fuck out of here, son. Fuck wrong with you. Lamont, what the fuck are you doing? Baby, this one's for you. Huh? Uh-uh. No, nigga, you ain't Drake. You can't be doing shit like this. Liz, are you listening to your old music? I mean, yeah, I mean, this shit fire, ain't it? I mean, plus the promo, you know what I'm saying? The self-promotion, you gotta do that first. Oh, come on, Max. See, what you want me to play? Solomon? Taffy? Weekend? The fuck I look like? See, nigga, this is just like you. You always pulling some dumb bullshit. How are you gonna come here and try to take me back and then make it about yourself? I'm not making it about myself, baby. I gotta make it about the art because the art comes first. You gotta focus on the art. Nigga, I should have came first a long ass time ago. No, no, baby, no. You got it fucked up. You're not first, you second, baby. Nigga, what the fuck? Oh shit, no, 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 no. Okay, so listen, second, second is just as good as first. See, it's a prerogative of mind and the mindset that makes you feel like it, you know what I'm saying? Because God brought us down here, you know what I'm saying, for people to be first to second, but you gotta think about it, first to second is a pair, you know what first I'm saying? First to second? What is God? Third. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Yes, and the, bro, they, ain't that like Corinthians 19? I, I need to I skinny ass nigga seen you talking my goddamn bitch, man. Damn, bro. So how'd it go, nigga? You know exactly how that shit went. Uh, I just don't get women, bro. I mean, you cheat on them one time, and all of a sudden, you don't deserve a second chance. I think some things you shouldn't forgive. <laughs> you think some things you shouldn't forgive, do Damn, who side you on? Whatever. Still miss her, though. I know you ain't talking about who I think you're talking about, bro. Come on, man. Shit, it's been about two months. Ain't you dating? Yeah, but it's the same boring shit. It's just not her. Maybe you should talk to your therapist about these things, bro. Talk about what? Your feelings, nigga. Come on. How are you coping with the breakup? I know you're struggling to cope with this, but you gotta find someone to deal with it. She didn't care. Wash it off. Look, I just don't understand where things went wrong, okay? It was two years, everything was great. Then it was like she turned into a whole different person. Bro, you drunk right now? Is you straight, bro? You doing all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Good, bro. bro I'm, I'm glad you pulled up. I mean, we kind of lacking on the on the bitches. You see? You 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 got anybody coming? You, you calling somebody? Right down like that, you know what I mean? You trying to help a brother out? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, ah. Good, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get to it, bro. I'm sure my girl got a friend. Ma, ma, ma. You feel me? I'm just trying to get busy, boy. I've been out here. I've been seeing him, boy. I might call her up and get her, get her a friend for you. No, so. that, that's been three days, bro. You got to help me, bro. You got to see it through, my boy. Here,
She was just so much, you know? Like, I couldn't go anywhere or talk to anyone without her feeling paranoid. And she was stalking my likes. Oh, and then she made me delete all my old posts. My old posts, right? That's crazy, right? I didn't even tell you this part. She made some random girls in my marketing lecture unfollow me. I just felt like I couldn't be myself and, and be with her. Like, yeah, yeah. I wasn't perfect, but tell me. You, you tell me you're the doctor, right? How am I supposed to deal with something like that? girl he wanted, but maybe that's what made me feel so scared. His favorite artists were Childish, The Weeknd, Katia Bonet, and The Internet. He had a soft spot for Rex Orange County, but he could never admit it. He always thought I thought his taste was basic, but I don't know. I loved it. He was a senior working on building a business. He had a passion for art, and he was good at it too. He was the oldest sibling with two younger sisters. His dad left when he was three. He had to grow up too early. He had to be strong so early. I think that's why he always closed himself off. I could never even imagine going through so much. I just knew I could never be enough for him. So, what you think? I mean, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't know, though. She kind of looks sad. Really? Yeah. Like, despondent. What exactly are you trying to say? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, mm. at least when the world recognizes me as the next Gordon Parks, mm -hmm. you can sell this for millions. Oh, and uh, how long till that happens? One year, tops. I can feel it. Didn't you say that like last year, though? Whatever. <laughs> I knew you'd like it, though. Nah, yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. I love it. I mean, fucking Christ, Stella. This is ridiculous. You can't keep doing this. You can't keep texting me, asking me every single detail of where I am, what I'm doing. I'm my own man, baby. I can do whatever I want, when I want. Why can't you just get that? Because you always where the fucking hoes are. And you always talking to them, standing too close. I see the way you look at them, too. Don't treat me like I'm dumb, Glory, because I'm not fucking dumb. Yeah, you're right. You're not dumb. You're fucking crazy. And you're a liar. Let's just chill, OK? I didn't want it to even go this far. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Glory? You know, Stella, I find it interesting for someone who's so clingy how you never post me. What? Yeah, you never put me on your story, not a post, nothing. I put you on my private every day. And you was on there yesterday. You saw that. Yeah, you're private, Stella. That's just way different. What? You don't want to post me now? You don't want to claim me? <laughs> and you say I'm paranoid. 
Jesus nah, Christ. Nah, 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 don't be mad Lord. because I'm calling you out on your bullshit too. Don't you see how fucked this is? And how you're affecting me? Look, Glory, I love you, okay? I see everything we could be, everything you could be, but you don't even open your damn self up to me. And you do? You know, I never let a nigga get this close to me before. No one knows me like you do. You don't fucking see that? Glory. Okay. I see how it is. Fuck this. Stella, wait! Wait, we can talk about this! Circumstances change. People change. There is nothing you can do to stop or avoid this. It's just another thing you have to accept in life. How do you think the separation defined things for you going forward? I mean, it definitely made me question everything. I just couldn't handle it. I wish I could be me today in that situation. I feel like I would be more... Stronger? <laughs> no. Just a lot more capable. Truth is, I'm a toy that people enjoy to all of the tricks don't work anymore. Then they are bored of me. I know that it's exciting Running through the night, but every perfect summer See them be alive until you're gone Better on my own They say you're a little much for me You're a liability You're a little much for me So they pull back, make other plans I understand I'm a liability Get you wild, make you leave I'm a little much for him Na 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 everyone They're gonna watch me disappear into the sun They're gonna watch me disappear into the sun Why do you think you weren't able to open up? Because if she knew who I really was, she'll hate me. Kind of pointless now. Now. It's OK to hate me.
I'm talking to a new boy, Dominique Hill. He's sweet. He encourages me. He supports me. We both want the same things in life. I love him. I showed him the spot at Clinton Lake where me and Glory had our first date. <laughs> He's already started calling it our spot. Did I ever tell you how Glory and I met? <laughs> it was a party in Lawrence. It was the winter. I was depressed. Need to go out and get fucked up. And let go of shit. It was the last place I thought I'd meet someone like her. She's from Leonard and Megan just tried to Oh, Megan I asked, where are you from? <laughs> Topeka. I'm Sudanese too. Cool. I'm Nigerian. Yeah, I know. I could tell by the confidence. Oh, yeah? Hell yeah. Who do you even know here? Don't worry about it. I'll be leaving soon. What's your name? Glory. You Mara. You? Stella Muhammad. Major? Psychology. You? Art history. Yo, babe, you ready to go? Yo, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey! She was beautiful. I heard her a lot. She heard me. But you know, sometimes I wonder what I'll be with her all over again. Well, would you? It's weird. All of the memories just kind of blurring together. Moments slip away, moments crash together, happy times, sad times, funny times. <laughs> Maybe that's just life. I mean, this whole thing means so much to me right now, but What's crazy is that a year from now probably won't mean anything. <laughs> Hell, three years from now, someone can mention his name and I'd be like, oh, me and him? Yeah, we dated for a little bit. <laughs> what scares me is that, you know, all of the love, <laughs> all of the pain, the smiles, the tears. Was it even worth it in the end? Was it worth it if eventually it's going to mean nothing anyway? <laughs> it's 
Sometimes I even wonder, would I even do it again? Would you? I'm sorry? The relationship. Would you do it all over again? <laughs>